This is Digger Phelps, and uh, obviously we know the one guy because of his basketball ability, Demetrius Jackson. But when we take a look at two special people uh, who made a commitment, and I got to look at Beth and Dave, and know that the Whitfields said, you know what, we're going to make a difference in somebody's life and give this person a chance to win in the game of life as a student athlete. And I know you're both Marion graduates. Yes, so how did you get involved to make all this dream become a reality? Um, he started to play AAU basketball with our son, Michael, and they became friends and spent a lot of time together. And Demetrius wanted to come to our house every weekend and hang out. I'm not sure why, because it was a crazy house. We have five kids. She had good food, right? Yeah. <laughs> so he started to come on Friday nights till Sunday, and he would travel with David to all the basketball tournaments. and. They just started to really become close, and he became part of our family right from the beginning. I, I just look at that, and I gotta say, when I uh, see it, David, it's it takes a special family to step up and step out to make this happen. But this, as we look around the world today, this is an issue for a lot of young people who just want that chance. And you guys made that decision. Yeah, uh, Michael came up when Beth was upstairs and uh, asked us if Dee could live with us, and. Our first reaction is sure. I mean, we don't we we don't think it all through and so forth. But we knew Demetrius was a very good kid, and, and we knew he needed some help. And so we we said sure, and it was that pretty that simple. Well, I'm I'm, I'm really proud of what you've done. But the only thing that disappoints me is since my kids went to St. Joe yeah. and they both went to Marion, you end up at Marion. Yeah. All right. You know when you go to Marion, you're going there for one reason: student athlete. Mm -hmm. And that led you going from Marion in the great year you had with those kids over there mm -hmm. to end up at Notre Dame, which again is about the student athlete. That transition from high school to college. Yeah, just, my high school was very similar to Notre Dame. Um, strong Catholic identity, um, great people, um, great academics and great athletics. And, and um, I was lucky to have these two just kind of guide me, um, just take a chance, um, let me stay with them and, and give me the opportunity to be successful. And um, I just took advantage of it um, to the best of my ability and ended up at a great school. What do you think was the crossroads in your life when you can look back as a young kid growing up and saying, I can make this choice or I can make that choice? Obviously, you made the right choice. Yeah, around the time when I started playing AAU basketball, um, that was kind of the first time um, on the court where it's helped me be disciplined, um, whether it was our AAU coach making us run suicides or <laughs> and stuff like that. But, but um, I just really learned discipline, uh, learned kind of like a work ethic going to the gym very, uh, like often, um, putting in the work it took to be successful. Um, that's kind of where it started for me around the seventh and eighth grade. And then you made that transition because obviously in high school, you got to get the courses and the grades to mm -hmm. get into Notre Dame. Yeah, um, it, was, it was really tough, but like I said before, we had, we had great people and great teachers, great staff at the school, and, and there were so many different outlets I could go to for help. Um, everybody was very helpful, a lot of resources similar to Notre Dame. Well, all of a sudden, you guys are all back and uh, we see two senior leaders. Mm -hmm. And when I look at Mr. Grant and Mr. Connaughton, they had one mission, we're gonna win. And here you are as a sophomore, and I call you the three amigos on the <laughs> perimeter. I mean, Jackson, Connaughton, and Grant, you guys just took off and made it happen where you end up in the final eight, losing to Kentucky in a close game. What was the experience when you guys smelled it, knew it, and just went after it all season? It was just so, so much fun and so amazing to be a part of that group, um, to do the things we did, to work as hard as we did, and just kind of have each other's backs. It was just really special to be a part of because, as you know, I'm a big family guy. And so just to have that opportunity, just a blessing for me um, and for my family to be able to come to the games and experience it as well. Um, it was really cool. And then having those two, two of the best leaders that ever come through Notre Dame kind of teach me and help me grow as a person and a basketball player, just, just really neat, really cool. Um, it's awesome. Well, now it's your turn. You're a yeah. junior, and you remember what Mr. Grant did, especially in that Louisville game when he scored 12 <laughs> straight points to put it into the first of five overtimes. Mm -hmm. Louisville goes on to win a national title that year after they lost to Notre Dame. But you know what happened when you guys knocked off Duke mm -hmm. in the ACC semifinals this year in the conference tournament. They go on to win a national championship, but you've got a great nucleus coming back next year. But it's your turn because I know Mr. Grant and I know Mr. Connaughton have passed you the torch <laughs> to be the leader. Yep. What's it going to be the challenge to make this happen? Um, it's going to be a huge challenge, but um, like you said before, we kind of understand it now. We've been there um, and we know what it takes to kind of reach that level. And so 
Um, I think it's just my job to continue to press the gas pedal for our team um, so that we can continue to work hard in the offseason and during the season so that we can continue to be successful. Well, I must really congratulate you two, really, seriously, what you've done. And this is an example, which I think the world needs to see since we're going global. This is an example of how we can make a difference in the game of life and through basketball, becoming a hook, get this guy win in the game of life. Back to you, Leanne.